It's focused on the fork time, and this week we're paying a visit to a Mexican restaurant that's been in Fort Wayne for decades. Absolutely, and we found out they're still spicing things up. Happy Focus on the Fork Day, everybody. For our next spot, we are going to... You deserve a night out at Bandito's. Bandito's. If you're from Fort Wayne, Jack, you know that jingle. How about that you singing right there? I love it. I tried my best. Okay. Let's we'll go check that. out Bandito's. Let's do it. You deserve a night out at Bandito's. You deserve a night out tonight. Hey everyone, we are in the heart of Bandito's here with the one and only Jimmy Schindler, the owner. Jimmy, thanks so much for having us. Happy to be here, best day ever. Best day ever, I love it. When I think about Fort Wayne food culture and cuisine, Bandito's right in the middle of it, and it has been for decades, starting with your father. So in 1980, my father founded Bandito's, hired a chef named Arminio Cortez. Uh, he was an amazing guy, wrote amazing recipes, which are the same ones that we have today. He was just such a staple of the community. So many people know him. I have people coming to me all the time, just say, I remember I worked for your dad at Jimmy's Pizza Inn, and I worked at, with your dad at Bandito's, and all these other restaurants that he had over the years. It's sad to lose a parent, as many of us have had to do, but um, he was just an amazing steward for the community, and, and we're all just thankful to be here just because of him. Well, let's talk about that Bandito's longevity for a second. <laughs> yeah, amen. So if you haven't been in in you know, three, five years, I highly encourage you to come in and see us. When I bought the business with my wife back in 2013, we made a lot of changes to the food quality. We're hand cutting our produce, we're shredding cheese from blocks, we're slow cooking meats, we have a build your own menu which is fantastic. Jimmy's so excited. I'm already peeking at the kitchen. It looks pristine, oh, smells yeah. great. Absolutely. Let's check out these fresh ingredients and these fajitas. Let's do it. So thanks for coming in today. We're going to make fajitas and show you how we do that. It's one of our most popular items. I have Jose Quintana, who's been with us for 15 years, absolutely amazing guy, wow. and he's gonna he's gonna cook for us. We put hand cut onions, fresh hand cut bell peppers to it, and then also we're gonna add the mesquite to them to give them that flavor. The mesquite we also make completely in house; we don't buy it someplace, so everything is from scratch. We cut our own chicken, we cut our own steak in house. We again it's seasoned with our own mesquite that we make completely from scratch. We just add a bunch of spices and oil and it's just it's a phenomenal uh, in-house product. We use it on a lot of our products to give us that unique flavor that a lot of our customers have a, have appreciated over the years. Oh my gosh. I mean look at this feast here at Bandito's. It doesn't get any better and I cannot wait to try my shrimp fajita jack. I can't wait to Julian got beef, chicken and shrimp. I added it all look, look in at with the, the beans. Look at this look at margarita. Bones. I mean, how can we ignore this? Mm. Oh my god. That shrimp is absolutely dynamite right there with the beans. Wonderful combination. Yeah. The mesquite sauce that they put on the vegetables and on the meat is delicious. I mean, you're definitely taking home leftovers. So, oh, so good. You can't go wrong here. No, you can't. Come check out Bandito's. <laughs> the yes! one and only. That song is, I mean, legendary. Oh my gosh. Not? So Jimmy, the owner of Bandito's, who you just saw, yep. gave us permission to use that old jingle. And I'm Thank so you, Jimmy. glad he did. That they was need so to fun. bring that back. They should. I mean, everything was so great there, too. The chicken, the beef, the shrimp. Yeah. Uh, really dry. I think they've you're right. Made, yeah, mm -hmm. they've made a lot of changes, and they're positive ones. And if you haven't been to Bandito's in a while, I would definitely check it out. Absolutely. Absolutely, and Jimmy's one of the good guys, all oh, about supporting local, supporting so other nice. local restaurants. Great. So we love Banditos.